right so this is the last part part four of um, using opnet modeler to create an mm1 queue and so far we have our little network of source queue and sync and we've also created a probe earlier and we have also created a simulation sequence which, you, which we've already run and now let's look at save these changes here and look at the results so we'll click on view results and we go into DS graphs and look at some of the results that we have so far accumulated so let's look at the queue size first those are the set of eight queue sizes Click on show, it will show us now a better way of looking at them if we stack them up or rather overlay them. And similarly, we can look at the queuing delay. More interesting way of looking at the results are by looking at the queue service rate which we'll set as the X series and on the Y side we will look at the queue delay So this shows you for the two different seeds how the queue delay looks like and similarly we can see the sample mean as well. Now we notice that this particular graph seems to be a little strange and the reason why is because we haven't shown confluence intervals here because they are two different runs and we should change the draw style to be linear and what you see here is the confluence intervals being shown which are extremely large simply because we've only done two runs but they do converge as the uh, service rate becomes higher. So that pretty much completes the, uh, the analysis of our MM1 simulation. Thank you very much.